So welcome back everyone, Mike here, and welcome to a unseasonably warm March day here in western Pennsylvania. It's about 60 degrees right now. I am taking this opportunity to do some grading here behind the new building. I just moved a big topsoil pile here, and I'm using a four-foot grading bucket for the first time, and so far I'm impressed. So right here I had about, I don't know, about 70 yards of topsoil, big pile. I stripped all that off from where the new building is, and it was kind of in the way to build this road that goes around the building. So I moved that pile over here and I'll be able to work out of this pile for quite some time whenever I need topsoil. But I just tried this uh, grading bucket for the first time. I did load a little bit of stone with it once, but this thing is fantastic. I hit this area real quick here, just kind of cleaning it up, took like two minutes. But even something like that right there, you could hit that with a uh, rake on a tractor and it would be ready for seed. All right, what I'm gonna do now is spin the machine around. I need to cut a few inches off of this right here. Now there's a little bit of topsoil in there and then some shale. I'm gonna try to separate that out. Uh, topsoil will go in the pile, shale will go around the building. What was happening here is water is laying in this area right here. It's kinda high right out there and that tree needs to go. I'm just not sure when or how I'm gonna do that just yet. I can definitely knock it down, but it's a hard leaner, going all different directions. I'll figure it out. This one's aimed right at that cherry tree, and this big one's aimed right at that nice chestnut tree, and I do not want to damage that tree. Uh, that thing's a little bit rough shape as it is, but it really produces the, uh, you know, a lot of nuts, and the deer love it, so I don't want to hurt that tree. But I'll figure this out at some point. over to the uh, to a car dealership my mom she needs a new car she had this uh, well she still has it it's a Chevy Captiva it's kind of like a uh, kind of like an oddball SUV you don't see many of them and there's only uh, 39,000 miles on it and the timing chain broke and there's some motor troubles with it. So it's in a garage right now. It's a 2012. And like I said, the shame of it is there's only 39,000 miles on it. But I don't think they're going to give her much on a trade. But she needs a new vehicle. So it's one of those things, you know, book value on hers is probably $6,000. And that is if it was in decent shape. So what do you do? Put a couple thousand dollar motor? It's just not a good situation. But anyway, she likes the Ford Escape. And you know, I'm a Ford guy. So uh, I went and looked at a Ford Escape. And it's actually pretty nice. And I took it down to her place and she drove it for a little bit. So uh, she may be getting one of those. And then I'll have to figure out what to do with the other one. I'm telling you, this bucket is the ticket on this machine. Really, really handy. All right, it's starting to get dark, but I'm going to keep working. But that uh, four-foot grading bucket is as handy as a pocket on a shirt. Now, what I'm doing right here on the flat, you know, you could do this with a box blade on the tractor. I think the excavator is definitely quicker though. I mean, you're moving a lot of dirt in a hurry. But what's nice is I can get this close to grade, wrap it right around the building, and then put, say, the land plane on the tractor, 
shine it up real nice more geotextile more rock it'll work out really well I don't know if you can see or not I'm getting close over there I'm getting real close what I want this to do is to drain away from the building but that tree is definitely gonna have to come out good with the tractor right just watching him do it and a lot of times it looks so easy and when I jump in there and he asked me to do the simplest task I am like nervous and it all comes flooding these emotions of how do you do this anxiety yeah it's tricky So, I got a little bonus footage for you because I want to run something by you guys. I got home from work about uh, 45 minutes ago, and it's about 6 o'clock right now. In that 45 minutes, I got home, I moved the uh, landscape trailer down below. That's the one my buddy Justin borrowed. Moved my dump trailer down below. I took the grapple off the tractor, put the forks on, moved some firewood baskets, uh, took the rear blade off put the land plane on, put fuel in the tractor, and I also graded all this up here. This looks real nice. Before it gets dark, I'm gonna roll this in. Uh, I'll just use the tires on the tractor, uh, but it's gonna rain here tonight, so I kinda wanna get this sealed up. But I did all that stuff and graded this up right here in about 45 minutes, and I got to thinking, boy, I got a lot done tonight. And the reason is, to be honest with you, this is the first that I grabbed the camera. So I had this idea I'm going to run by you. So if you watched the last video or the beginning of this video, uh, I was running the excavator, had that four foot grading bucket on. I was cutting some of this down here. I was doing all sorts of stuff. But in that video, I used three, no, I used four different cameras. Two of these little uh, DJI Osmo actions. I used my Canon M50 and the drone. And I take all that data and I download it into my editing software. It takes me a couple hours to edit that video. And the reason I do all that work is I enjoy that type of video. Those are the kind of videos I like to watch. I like camera angles that you don't normally see with your eye. You know, maybe a camera mounted on the rear blade or on the front bucket of the tractor from up above. And that's the type of video that I like to do. And that's why I do it. But I got to thinking, you know, when I got home tonight, I got all this stuff done in 45 minutes so far. And I just grabbed a camera just a few minutes ago. 
So it got me thinking, I've got a lot to do this year. Uh, I got to get ready for the wedding, all that kind of stuff. So maybe once or twice a week, I may have uh, Melissa just kind of follow me around with the camera. She can do a little bit of commentary, more like raw video. Uh, I was just that's a thought that I had let me know what you guys think also what we may do is uh, Melissa will be able to keep you just up to date on things and what's happening around here on things that I'm aren't that I'm not filming and she'll put that stuff on her channel you know so even though we're doing projects or whatever I may not film every single one we'll just have to see how it goes don't get me wrong I enjoy doing it the way that I do uh, like I said I like those kind of videos Sometimes, you know, other channels that I watch, they'll just stand in front of a camera and talk, and they're okay, too, if there's some information that I'm interested in. Uh, I like that kind of thing, and they're the easiest in the world to edit. You just talk in front of the camera, boom, and you're, and you're uploaded. I just don't really do a whole lot of videos like that, but that's something I'm thinking about doing, just to try to get a little bit more done and not spend as much time moving cameras around. I do get comments sometimes from people, you know, if I'm out in the woods... I think some people think there's like a film crew or something. There's not. There's me. So, you know, you're pulling out the trail in the tractor. You move a camera out 50 yards, pass it up, go grab it, and then maybe get the drone up in the air. There's a whole lot to it. Everything takes probably two to three times as long to do when you're filming it. And once again, I just want to be very clear, not complaining at all. We're very blessed. I love this whole thing that we got going on here. Thankful for all you guys. I'm just looking for a way to get more done and offer more content uh, between my channel and Melissa's channel, Morgan's Off The Leash. So go over to her channel, subscribe and to that one, and she'll probably have more of the behind the scenes stuff or things that I'm not filming all the time. So that's kind of the plan. Let me know in the comments. Just trying to save some time, get some more things done, and we turn the clocks this weekend, which is fantastic. It's 6.15 right now. And uh, still a little bit of daylight left, and it's overcast right now. Next week, it'll be 7.15 like this. So that'll help quite a bit as well. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.